So, serve the champion, that's just like, how do we serve champions, right? How do we help them scale? How do we serve them? Just like, serve them in any way that you can. Help them scale is to be able to do more of what they're doing. But then ultimately, it's having these technologies support the core processes that transform lives. Because when we were doing this listening tour, we were doing this listening tour about five years ago we started, where we interviewed what ultimately has been over 2,000 champions and spent time with them. But about 280 interviews in is where we basically got to the point of identifying a common core process that they were all doing. They were connecting with somebody, you know, meeting them on the street, you know, however it might have been. They were connecting with them. They were getting to know them enough to match them to something that they thought would catalyze their growth. And then they would reconnect, re-know, rematch, re catalyze. And so they were basically in this loop. So what we were then saying is that, okay, if we could start to understand how technology supported individually each of these things, then we're really sort of supporting the most foundational thing that everybody did together. So whether it's like we're working with <clears throat> you know, the state of Ohio right now, and the, the RIDGE program in terms of helping people get into, uh, get out of prison and get back into their communities, or whether it's a drug and alcohol rehab, or whether it's you know with the University of Colorado Hospital, or whether it's working with uh, CREW on spiritual growth, or compassion on releasing people from poverty, right? Actually, they seem diverse, but they really all are doing the same thing at that most fundamental core level. So that was a really important aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're really all doing, they call them different things. And our parent class is called Champion. They call themselves all sorts of different things. And then this, and then this core process. Because until, until you get that core process, you don't know really how to, how to support them, right? Yeah, they're all, they all share a common process. They actually share something that's the same. And that is, is they're connecting with people, they're getting to know them, they're matching them to something that catalyzes them, you know. Right. Right, and so that's, that's right. So then, then, then we start saying, okay, what does it mean to then start to build an abstracted set of tools? Just like we have an abstraction of the process, what's an abstraction set of tools that then can start to allow that? Another really important piece was about 18 months in, we really narrowed in on that idea of the primacy of face-to-face, -face, yeah. the importance of that face-to-face -face connection. Because so much of the, of the work with technology, your immediate instinct with technology is, oh wow, let's like disintermediate everybody and then just be able to help people directly. Yeah. Let's just be able to get them to like, come to the website and then boom, we can help them to the website and then everybody's helping. Right. And what you're doing is you're cutting out what is actually the most essential ingredient in the yeah. entire process, which is the passion of one person yeah. to help another. Yeah. And that you've got an architect around that. And that's because we don't self-activate yeah. for growth. 